Hello and welcome to another video from No Nonsense Gaming. In this video we are going to show you the locations of top 5 early game Ashes of War and Elden Ring. Ashes of War are special items that allow you to grant your armaments, new skills, and affinities. Without wasting any more of your time let's get straight to the point. At number 5 we have Unsheathed. Skill of Swordsman from the Lands of Reeds. Sheathed Blade, holding it at the hip in a composed stance. Follow up with a normal or strong attack to perform a swift slash attack. Unsheathed will increase the physical damage caused by the weapon by 20%. While on Unsheathed stance the player movements will be unheard by the enemies which allow the player to take them out in a stealthy manner. The item is dropped by a teardrop scarab in the water body near northwest of the Aguil Lake south side of Grace. Beware of the giant crabs in this region. At number 4 we have the Golden Vow. Golden Vow provides the sacred affinity, which adds holy damage and faith scaling, decreases physical damage, most damage negation. Even though it's not as effective as the incantation with same name, it's still a very useful item for the player to have. The Ash of War will cause the physical damage to drop down a little bit. The item is dropped by a mounted Godric Knight on the cliff southwest above the Death Touched Catacombs when defeated. Warmaster Shack is the nearest site of Grace. From the site of Grace follow the path as shown in video. This is the enemy that dropped the Golden Vow Ash of War when defeated. At number 3 we have Glintblade Phalanx. Glintblade Phalanx form an arch of magic Glintblades overhead, which will attack foes automatically. Follow up with a strong attack to chain this skill into a lunging thrust. The Ash of War adds magic damage and intelligence scaling, but reduces base damage and strength or dexterity scaling. To obtain Glintblade Phalanx the player have to kill Godric the Grafted and meet Sorcerer Rogier at the round table hold. Tell him that you have killed Godric and then exhaust his dialogues. He will gift you his rapier as a reward. The rapier have Glintblade Phalanx Ash of War engraved in it. You can remove it from the sword and reuse it on your other weapons. At number 2 we have the Flame of Redmans. Flame of the Redmans upon activation burst out a fan of fire flames in front of the player. The flames from this skill will spread out and grow wider as it travels. While not a long range attack, the flames can still cover a pretty significant distance. It will also cause 10 stance damage. The cost to cast is 14 FP. Flame of the Redmans is dropped by an invisible teardrop scarab located in front of the Fort Gale north side of Grace. You have to travel in southern direction from Rodview Balcony to reach this area. The best early game Ash of War in Elden Ring is the Bloody Slash. From a low stance, coat the blade in your own blood to unleash a rending blood slash in a wide arc at the enemies. The Ash of War provides the blood affinity, which adds arcane scaling and adds bleed buildup attacks, but it decreases all other scaling types. The item is dropped by a Godric Knight fought at the top of the ramparts of Fort Hate. Fort Hate West is the nearest site of Grace. At the top of the building there will be a knight which will drop the bloody slash ash of war when defeated. 